What's up, Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny back at you again. I have a update for you guys. I have a new substrate that I have mixed in with my sand. This is Eco Complete. This mixed in with the sand has made uh, planting a whole lot easier and it doesn't kick up into the waterway as much. So, you know how sand makes that like uh, that little. Uh, Kind of like uh, sand, uh, sandstorm, I guess you could call it, in your tank. Basically makes the uh, bullet filter that I showed you guys how to make in a previous video. If you haven't, uh, check out my video. Make yourself one of these. Your tank will not ever have looked as good until you made one of these bad boys. And put it on a power head and of course let it run through. And it will help, I guarantee. But uh, other than that, um, like I said, I got the Eco Complete mixed in. I got two 20 pound bags of Eco Complete. And I mixed it in with, uh, I think it was about 40 pounds of sand. So I put it in. I made a hell of a mess. The water looked like horrible. <laughs> It looked like utter shit, honestly. Um, and then, again, that's where my little invention, right there, comes in handy. But um, after you do, uh, if you do mix this in, it will let your plants grab on to, uh, you know, and um, be easier on the root structure, really. Because um, when it goes down in sand, it doesn't really give it enough to... Uh, to you know to burrow through and hold on to and on top of that the fish can kick it up real easy um sand also has the downfall by itself to um be a little bit heavy the roots can't really break through it because it's compact so heavily um other than that basically this having micronutrients and everything that was in the bag you do not want to empty the contents of the bag. It will come with a water, um, kind of like pre-cycled, like minerals and all that. Basically, in the bag, you'll have uh, you'll have your eco complete completely set to uh, really start kicking up and making a clean ecosystem for you. There's my glass a little dirty on the outside right there. That's where I was probably goofing around because I was putting this stuff and I am growing grass. I have micro swords. I have three of these micro swords. This will grow across hopefully the whole tank will be um carpeted and flourish because uh I still do my dosings um, flourish twice a week. It's one cap full for 60 gallons. Um, this has, yeah, grown a little out of control. It looks pretty, and the fish love to hide underneath it, and it likes to get sucked up to your damn filters. But other than that, it's really green. I like it, and I don't mind picking it off the back every once in a while. So, um, like I said in the previous video, that was the first trimming from that. <laughs> so, yeah, probably by now, if, uh, you know, you have to keep this stuff trimmed. Um, that's that wisteria. Um, I love it. It's, uh, it's actually a really hardy plant. But uh crows very, very fast. Um, I got these two guys. Eh, eh. These guys are new. Forget the name of it. Um, but I'll leave that in the uh, description below. Um, I have my uh, my actual swords. And this guy has actually um, come back in. I thought this thing was done because uh, 
it wasn't looking so hot but now that I've mixed in the eco complete with the sand it's starting to really come back I was even looking at the uh, the under um, like the the root system it was like a little hard ball I don't know if it was basically uh, you know nutrient de deprived uh, I got it from the I got it from the uh, pet store and it had uh, big leaves on it like this big long leaves and eventually they fell off and I was stuck with a little itty bitty nothing and uh, now it's really starting to come in with some uh, real pretty green leaves now if that blossoms out kind of like that that'd be awesome that'd be awesome Sweetness. What's up, little shrimp? What you doing? Anyway, um, the plants are doing very good. I got this hair grass. It's uh, it's microswords. Uh, this stuff should carpet the whole underbelly. I'd like to see this stuff really come in and uh. And uh, basically carpet out um, with it not being just sand compacted down it has the opportunity to really have uh, you know little shooters come out and keep growing up and up and up and up and up and keep you know all the way through still got my uh, Marima moss balls uh, help keep the nitrates down as always you know the more plants that you have the better you're going to be with uh, keeping the the uh, you know the nitrates and and uh, and the nitrites down. Uh, you don't really want to have a lot of those in your tank. Uh, pretty much, you don't want any of them in your tank. Uh, nitrates are the devil. Um, you can uh, always keep that down by adding some uh, some plants, and uh, every little bit helps. And it helps keep oxygen in the water and you'll notice that uh, once I get all the carpeting down you know when it when it blossoms and shoots and 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 really fills out the bottom <clears throat> I'll only have to uh, basically take and, uh, and and run the the vac across you know the top just kind of like lightly across the top and and basically any detritus or anything will uh come right up but uh love to see it carpeted around that that'd be kind of cool uh, that's actually the only fake plan i have and it's uh it's actually i don't know what you'd call it it's just that little cheap log from you know aquarium store uh, it's got a couple little plastic uh, plants. I don't know. Might end up just taking these off, you know, and then taking some like uh, some real uh, like a Java fern or something like that, and try to get it to stick to it and whatnot. Because uh, I mean, I like it, you know, but for a fake plant, I don't want any. So all these live plants. So now I'm up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, it's like 5 Marima moss balls. That's like almost 15 plants. But other than that, um, once that carpet's out, you know, once those carpet out, and, you know, these guys will grow. And then uh, this guy has pretty much stayed the same size. Uh... I know it's rooting and I know it's growing new stuff down here, but uh, that's also been, uh, it's been thriving. So, said and done, you know, this should be really interesting. So, keep in, uh, keep in touch with the, uh, the videos on my page and we'll see if this... Uh, basically 
flourishes through the tank and blows up and and basically makes a uh, a whole lawn basically of microsword you know the grass hopefully but uh again guys if uh if you haven't made one of the bullet filters check out my video make one of those uh if you have any questions concerns comments leave them below uh hit me a uh, hit me up if you have any questions or uh, comments or concerns also because um uh, you know you never know if you need help with something hey i'm here you know this is one big family of uh fish keepers and we tend to stick together um i'd like that to be how it is anyway because you know you might need help with something hey i'll give you some advice you get everything's you know situated you're not losing sleep and you get to enjoy it more i've ran into some uh some troubles in my time but uh basically um you know one, once you get like uh through all the rough stuff and you get a little tips and tricks in there you end up being a lot uh a lot more happier with with how everything is it won't seem like it's so repetitive you know cleaning god i gotta do a water change god i gotta do this i gotta clean you know what i mean i'll show you tips and tricks i got a plenty of them so um bullet filter definitely will be uh probably about 90 percent of all those issues that thing will suck and keep your tank clean and it's got uh um basically um sponge i got my media how i put it together and clean it up thinking about adding some uh filter floss to that uh many ways you can build that go about doing that other than that guys that's uh pretty much just the update other than uh just you know shooting the shooting the shit with you but uh check out the uh videos on how to do that or check out the uh upcoming videos on if this stuff um you know flourishes out and and we'll see uh we'll have an update in uh i don't know about a week or so i i'll let it roll see how it does and then if it uh if it spreads out any i guess we'll see um i've never done uh carpeting grass before but i do have the lights and i do have the flourish so damn it bobby <laughs> i hope it grows guys i really do so until next time hit that like hit the subscribe stay in contact uh shoot me a message if uh if you got anything that you're trying to figure out how to do or if uh, you need help with anything this is danny from starlight aquatics i'll see you guys have a good day